many years. The more I did, the more I wanted to explore. And so I had fun just playing with color. Painting canvases and artwork is just began like in the, um, probably like uh, 20 years now that I've been painting. And I've just seemed like I've just grown so much. You'll see in my works there's um, a similarity as far as the color. I seem to, it doesn't, I don't choose those colors, they choose me. It seems like I'll put out color on my palette, different colors of paint, and yet I'm always, my brush is always reaching for the turquoises, the blues, and the ochres, and the, 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 the reddish brown color, the earth tones. I kind of go with the earth tones a lot, but it comes out much more vibrant in my work. You know, we are just a little, little village town of Swanton and you know art doesn't really you know we're trying to make art flourish here so you know people are just like coming out to view our art it's just an opportunity to show what talent and what is happening you know behind the scenes what are people actually doing who are the creatives that are doing this kind of work it's just it's just amazing what is coming about. My name is Judy Paxman and I am an upcycling artist. I've always made stuff. I've always liked to make things out of other things. I love bottle caps. They're so cool. I probably have about 70,000 bottle caps right now. I realized about three years ago, ah, no, four, four years ago in an interview I was asked what's my five-year goal and my goals had changed because of her, uh, my father had recently passed away and I, I wasn't prepared to answer that question but when they asked I had said well I like to make stuff out of stuff that people throw away and I guess my five-year goal would be to have somebody want to keep the stuff that I made instead of throwing it away um, and my 10-year goal would be that maybe someone would actually want to buy it. <laughs> and so I've already hit that because I sold stuff tonight, which is kind of cool. The first like moment, which I still makes my hands sweat when I think about it, was um, we had, I can't remember what the reason was, but Anita, Michelle, and her husband, Kevin Para, were over at the house, and he saw something that I'd been working on, my, one of my little things that's one of my circle things. And I hadn't put it away because usually I put everything away when people come over. <laughs> and I just hadn't because I was in a hurry. And he looked at it and he said, that's awesome. And it, I was amazing. It was amazing. So, and then um, I've had a lot of other people ask me, you know, to show them how to do things. And I'm like, what? You like are really an artist and you want me to show you how to do something? That's so cool. So that's, um, those are the big things I'd say that were really, really pretty cool, so.